Hey guys, my name is Andrew Perlout with rawfoodhealth.net and today we're talking about whether or not you can lose body fat without also decreasing your muscle mass. So I got a question uh, from Jackson. Huge fan of your work here, Andrew. I've got a question and it would be amazing if you made a video about this topic. Will you lose a lot of muscle mass if you go on a low protein diet and run a calorie deficit? I have lost over 100 pounds over the past two years and a large part of that time I was on a bodybuilder diet with tons of protein because I read repeatedly that if you do not consume one gram per pound of your body weight of protein that you will lose muscle on a diet. I am about to go back on a calorie calorie deficit to lose this last bit of fat, and I want your input on whether there is any science behind this claim. I am unsure of how, uh, how to find scientific studies supporting or disproving this idea. Thanks, Jackson. Uh, so Jackson, let's uh, delve into some of the research here. This paper examined the connection between muscle loss and total weight loss or total fat loss. Changes in body weight, whether negative or positive, induced by nutrition usually comprise both lean, fat-free mass or lean body mass, and fat. This is true for many species, including those who lose weight during hibernation, like bears. The relative contribution of fat-free mass and fat to the total weight changes influenced by the initial body fat content. If you overfeed a thin person, they'll gain 60 to 70% lean tissue and the rest fat, but in an obese person, uh, it's only 30 to 40% lean tissue. When it comes to weight loss, though, it's kind of the opposite. The fatter you are, the more fat you lose as you get thin. And the thinner you are when you start your weight loss, the more lean mass, the more muscle you're going to lose. But might there be any way to preserve our muscle tissue while we're losing fat? Yes, these studies looked at people who were creating a calorie deficit primarily through eating less food, but what if they exercise? The paper notes that the exercisers who maintain their weight can actually gain a bit of lean mass and so lose an equal amount of body fat. But if much weight is lost, lean weight will decline. Exercise cannot augment or even preserve lean weight in the face of significant weight loss. But how much weight loss counts as significant? This study put overweight men into a number of groups, a control group, one group that only ran a calorie deficit, one group that ran a calorie deficit and did resistance exercise with aerobic, and one that only did aerobic with their uh, weight loss, their calorie deficit. Over the course of about 12 weeks, the three main diet groups which had been running similar calorie deficits all lost a similar amount of body mass, about 21 pounds in the ballpark of 21 pounds. But here things start to diverge. The ones that only did the calorie deficit without any exercise lost the least amount of fat in the most muscle. Those who did a little bit of aerobic exercise lost more fat and less muscle than the calorie only group, but the group that did resistance exercise lost the most fat in the least amount of muscle. Of the weight loss by the diet only group, 69% was fat. For the ones that did aerobic exercise, 78% was fat. For the ones that did resistance exercise and aerobic, 97% was fat. There are huge differences here. And even though they lost a tiny amount of muscle, in the resistance group, their one rep max for bench press increased 19% on average, and for the squat, 32% on average. These guys got a lot stronger while they were losing body fat. It's like you've got a cluttered apartment and you hire a cleaning crew to come and clean it up. And you say, hey, don't throw out anything important. And they say, oh, well, we won't throw out anything that we see you using. And they then take out everything that's just the junk that's been sitting around that you're not using. And how do you do that from a physical perspective? If you don't want that muscle to be thrown out, you better use it. You do resistance exercise, it tags the muscle for preservation, and it doesn't get thrown out. In the end, you'll find yourself with a nice, clean, downsized apartment, but all the important stuff that you need is still gonna be there because you tagged it. Okay, so we know that exercise preserves muscle mass, but how much of a calorie deficit is too large to preserve muscle mass even in the face of exercise? 
previous research had determined that somewhere between half a kilogram and one kilogram per week, um, one kilogram is 2.2 pounds, uh, would be about the maximum that you could handle without losing large amounts of muscle mass. This study tried to narrow that window down a little bit more. And interestingly enough, they drew on elite athletes to do this experiment. The slow reduction group aimed to spend 8.5 weeks losing their weight, whereas the fast reduction group aimed to spend only 5.3 weeks. The slow reduction group cut their caloric intake by 19%, the fast reduction group by 30%. At the end of the study, both groups had lost a similar amount of body weight. Fat mass decreased 31% in the slow reduction group, but only 21% in the fast reduction group. The slower loss group actually managed to gain 2.1 pounds of lean mass, but the fast group basically stayed unchanged. They didn't lose any muscle, but they didn't gain any either. This while working out very hard the slow reduction group also managed to improve their performance in a wide variety of strength exercises and sprinting uh, compared to the fast group, which basically stayed the same or only made small improvements. The researchers write that this leads to a general suggestion that athletes who want to gain lean body mass and increase strength and power related performance during a weight loss period combined with strength training should aim for a weekly weight loss of 0.7% of body weight, whereas athletes who only want to keep lean body mass might increase their weekly weight loss rate to 1-1.4% to of body weight. But back to Jackson's initial question about protein. Is it at all important to preserve that muscle mass? That first study I showed you, having the overweight men use resistance training to lose weight and they didn't lose body mass, they were only taking in about 15% of their energy from protein. The average American man only consumes about 16% of their calories from protein. So it's not like the men in this study were bulking up with protein supplements or uh, going out of their way to consume more protein than average. I've made a point of claiming to be able to put on impressive amounts of muscle mass using a low protein diet. I generally suggest that people keep their protein consumption under 10% of calories, which is a decent amount less than what the average American is taking in also a lot less than what your average bodybuilder is taking in with all their protein supplements and chicken dinners. You can check out my video where I talk about my protein intake levels and uh, some of the science uh, backing up my claim, but there is certainly a dearth of evidence available um, just because the studies haven't been done on low protein diets in general, much less on strength gaining and uh, something like this, preserving lean mass in the face of weight loss. But uh, in my experience, it hasn't been an issue. I certainly haven't gotten any weaker during weight loss as long as I'm doing strength training. So guys, I personally have my doubt that a uh, dramatically higher protein intake is going to make a big difference for your uh, muscle preservation during fat loss. Uh, my personal experience is that I haven't really lost strength. Um, muscle mass, kind of hard to quantify, but uh, in terms of strength, I haven't really seen any losses because I believe I'm training hard enough to sort of tag those muscles for preservation. So uh, if you're looking to lose weight and uh, you want to be healthy while you're doing it, if you want to improve uh, your ability to perform athletically, uh, check out my book, Raw Food Weight Loss and Vitality. Uh, this is the program which has let me go from uh, un fat and unhealthy and unathletic to what most people would consider to be pretty <laughs> impressive athletically. So um, I would highly suggest that anyone check this out. Give it a try. See if your athletic performance improves. See if you get stronger. I know I have. So uh, if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button, leave me comments below, and share it with your friends if you uh, want to pass it on. Thanks. See you later.